So today we are going to learn about various generations of the probe. The probes are basically divided into five generations. What were the first generation probe? These are a conventional stainless steel probes, right? We which we use in our clinics. They are sometimes made up of plastics for implants, right? They have superb tactile sensation, but because of no limitation, there is uncontrolled forces which apply on the gingiva, which end up breaking into K, give us error in recording of the proper pattern till then. So that's why we upgraded it to second generation probes. What were the second generation probes? These probes are true pressure sensitive probe, right? Probes in which there are limited amount of pressure which can apply in basically 20 gram or 0 0.75 newton forces it this is the amount of the force which are limited on this second generation probe but then we come to third generation probe which have edge they are too pressure sensitive but there is another benefit in there they are computer aided. computer aided in this we can actually record the amount of forces we are applying and we can even make a record of it when we do not have to manually write down for each and every tooth we can just record it then there come the four generation probe in the four generation probe we have two pressure sensitive plus computer aided plus there is another catch 3d view we can get a 3d view of a sulcus area right but what in what happened in fifth generation probe? They are the latest advancement. We have two pressure sensitive, right? Are they computer aided? Yes. So do we have a 3D view? Yes. What extra we have here? Known in VG. These are known in VG. These are known in VG, right? Now we will discuss a first probe the William probe it was devised by it was introduced by H.M. William 1936 it is it has a diameter of 1 mm length of 13 mm it is graduated probe the marking of 1 2 3 4 is missing 5 6 is missing 7 8 9 10 right why is 4 is missing why 4 is missing 4 is missing if you just directly put into the sulcus and you see there is 4 is missing it just suggests there is a moderate pedontitis so if you uh, see the missing area it's me if missing area is inside the Sulcus, it depends. There is a moderate pedontitis. This is missing a visit present severe pedontitis, and just suggests the patient must be referred to a pedontics, right? So now we have Michigan O probe. It's a graduated probe. It's also a special feature. Why I personally diagnose may I personally place in relation to William probe because there's two variants of it. There are two variants for Michigan O probe. The first one is the Williams marking probe. It is a thinner than William probe. It has two variant. The William marking probe and other one is with a marking of three, six, eight mm. This one is also known as especially in some text it is suggested at University of Michigan. And this one is when we actually say Michigan O probe, so when you have two probe in front of you with the uh, so Michigan O probe will be the thinner one and William probe will be the thicker one. Otherwise, it's the same probe. They will just look like same to each other. The another one is Goldman Fox probe. It is similar to Williams probe because of marking, but cross section is cross section is flat 
गोलमैन इज फ्लैट विलियम इज राउंड अदरवाइज मार्किंग आर द सेम वन टू थ्री फोर इज मिसिंग फाइव सेवन इज सिक्स इज मिसिंग सेवन एट नाइन टेन रेस्ट ऑल दिस सेम दिस नो कलर कोडिंग इज जस्ट फ्लैट विलियम प्रो राइट सो सो नाउ वी विल डिस्कस दी सी पी आई टी एन प्रो बोल डब्ल्यू एच ओ प्रो बिकॉज दिस वॉज डिवाइज बाय द डब्ल्यू एच ओ प्रो इट्स अ कलर कोडेड प्रो विच आर टू वेरियंट इट्स आर टू वेरियंट दी सी पी आई टी एन ई वेरियंट विच इज दिस वन दी ई वेरियंट एंड सी पी आई टी एन सी वेरियंट दिस इज सी वेरियंट वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस टू इन सी पी आई टी एन विच हैव द मार्किंग ऑफ थ्री पॉइंट फाइव टू फाइव पॉइंट फाइव एम एम बैंड only one band in the cpat and c we have two bands the one is 3.5 to 5.5 mm and the another one is 8.5 to 11.5 mm what is the distinguishing feature of cpat and pro you have 0.5 mm bore at the tip so when you look at the very edge of the tip you can see a 0.3 mm 0.5 mm bore this is how you distinguish it with the marcus probe marcus probe is similar to cptn probe it is similar to cptn especially the c probe because they both have the two band marking but do not confuse it the two band of the marcus probes are 3 6 9 12 These are the markings in the CPAT and Pro. It have three mm calibrated markings, right? So never confuse it. How what do you have to distinguish between Marcus Pro and WHO Pro? In WHO Pro, in CPAT and Pro, you have a bow at the end. In Marcus, no bow at tip. It has two variant: the curved variant, which is basically a neighbor's probe become, and the other is straight variant. So this is. straight variant and this is the curved variant this is how the curved variant look neighbor's probe a neighbor's probe also known as the furcation probe all right it's specially devised for the furcation areas for the furcation areas in multi rooted teeth right and it have a marking at 3 mm same as morex marquis probes right same as the marquis probe it is has a marking for 3 6 9 12 it's a graduated graduated color coded probe now the last one is the unc 15 probe unc it was introduced by the university o north carolina why it is name as 15 why we call it 15 because it have 15 marking how do you dis distinguish this because this is the only pro where you have 15 marking this is the distinguishable feature a right? 15 markings what are the 15 markings it are these are 1 2 Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Right. So these are all the markings present on it, and on which marking number five, basically four and five, nine or ten, and fourteen and fifteen. These are color coded. right these are color coded so these are a these are a juency 15 point there is special thing about it it have a diameter of 0.6 mm so this is the most preferred most preferred in clinical trials the juency 
fifty probe, right? So now we'll discuss the second generation probes, right? So as true pressure sensitive probe, these are true pressure sensitive probes, right? These have a fixed diameter of zero point six mm, it is a standardized diameter. And then what special do they have? Pressure we can only apply up to twenty gram or basically zero point seven five newton. But in implants, this is zero point two five newton, right? These are known as true pressure sensitive or constant force control pressure probes, right? Constant pressure probes. So these are also marked probe, and they have a retractable. Tip. You can just dispose of the tip only. You don't have to dispose the entire, entire probe. What are the markings? And the markings on the TPS is three, six, nine. Right? These are the markings on the probe. What are the What are the examples for second generation probe? For second generation probe, the TPS probe, which is known as true pressure sensitive probe, and another one is wine. Valley probe, right? Wine Valley probe. So now we will move on to the third generation probes, which are computer-aided probe. These are computer-aided probe. They have constant force plus me. Computer-assisted probes, right? So the first one is Foster-Miller probe. It was devised by the Jeff Court in Nineteen eighty six. Nineteen eighty six. What is special about this probe? This can automatically detect CEG, right? Automatically can detect CEG, right? But there is a problem. What was the problem with this? It failed to detect the CEG of regular foods. So if you are a periodontal patient, so It 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 is you know it is very very possible it is very common to find a rough probe so these these probes fail there. What are the fluid probes? Fluid probes are advised by devised by the Florida Corporation in Gainesville. And these were devised by nineteen eighty eight. Right, these are. Defined, these are designed according to the standard of National Institute of Dental and Craniofacial Research (NIDCR), also known as NIDCR. So, which probe is according to the standard of NIDCR? It is the fluid probe. It's a very important question, right? So, what are the disadvantages about the probe? What were the cons in this probe? Lack of tactile sensation. Lack of tactile sensation, right? So, next is our fourth generation probe and fifth generation probe. There is not much of a uh, there is not much of a literature present about this probe. So, we can just say this probe had the true pressure sensitive plus computer aided plus 3D view. These can provide three D view. There is a disadvantage with them. They are underdeveloped, under development. So it's a more of a concept probe, mostly used in clinical trials, mostly used in very research purposes, and these are very costly. No, not totally usable for surveys or totally usable for clinical part, right? And then we have a fifth generation probe, which are true pressure sensitive. Plus computer aided CD view plus known in VG. What does known in VG mean? These probe do not penetrate. These are based on the principle of ultrasound. These are work on the principle of ultrasound. They are also known as ultrasonic. So what are the disadvantages about these probes? Ones are very obvious, very costly. Thank you very much.